Hi guys, my name is Luke, and here's how to uh, set up MuseScore Drumline in the MuseScore 4 beta. Um, so before we get started, there's a few things you'll need. Um, the first being MuseScore 3, um, and if you've been using MuseScore Drumline, uh, you'll need that installed as well. Um, I won't go over how to install that uh, in this video, because hopefully you already have that done. Um, but if not, make sure that you have that installed. Um, the second thing you're going to need, uh, is the Schwarzando plugin. Um, so I'll have a link to that in the description. Um, and what you want to do is you're on this website, click on the drop down, go to downloads here. I'll full screen it real quick. Um, and then you're going to have to go down a little bit on this page until you get to the Schwarzando, um, and make sure you do it for whatever operating system you have. You don't need the sound banks or anything, just uh, just the download itself. Hi, it's Luke from the future. I realized that I should probably actually show you uh, the install process of Schwarzando. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just kind of um, explain where you need to put files and things. Um, so. Eventually, uh, down the road, it's going to not make a lot of sense uh, why, uh, like, some of the things I say, but just make sure that uh, the destination location is in your program files on your main hard drive. Uh, that's the most important part of this process. Uh, when we get into MuseScore, I start kind of rambling about how I don't know how to uh, search for VSTs, um, so if it doesn't show up... I I can't help you. This is the step of the process that you need to have uh, correct because I'm pretty sure MuseScore looks under your program files uh, to find the VST plugins. So this is if, if if all that makes sense, like doesn't make any sense, just just hit next and you should be fine. Um, so when you get here, uh, just keep going, and you'll see here select the folder in which the setup should install uh, VST same place c program files vst plugins if there isn't a folder called vst plugins on your computer in your program files go to your program files and make a folder called vst plugins cool so that would be like browse um i'm already there right and then just whatever you have to right click make a new folder you it needs to be here basically uh yeah um, and then the last thing you're going to need is uh, my pack for the drum set files. Um, this is also, the link to this will also be in the description. Um, so, yeah, just make sure you have all that before we get started. Um, it'll just speed up the process a little bit. And then obviously make sure that you have MuseScore 4, but don't open it quite yet. Uh, cool, the first thing you're going to want to do is locate your MuseScore 3 uh MuseScore drumline files so i have those in my documents under MuseScore 3 and then right here where it says extensions um if you set it up uh the way uh you install it in um MuseScore 3 where you just uh literally hit the install button it should just automatically go to here um so once you get here open up the MDL uh, and then whatever version you have, and then you're gonna wanna copy this folder, SFZS. Um, so I'm just gonna do a control C. Um, you can also right click and copy. Um, yeah, the next thing you wanna do is put that folder in a location that you're going to remember. That can be on, the, on your desktop. I like to have a clean desktop though. Um, so I'm going to go back to my documents, open up MuseScore 4, and I'm just going to make a new folder here called MDL Sounds, and I'm going to paste it right here, and this might take a second. So once you get that done, uh, it's actually time to load up the, pr uh, the plugin, Schwarzando, for the first time. Um, so whenever you open it, uh, it's not going to give me the dialog box just because this is the first time, but you will get a pop-up that says 
uh, that you need to go to tools and then preferences and then change your audio device. Now, if you choose uh, the API, um, either ASIO or uh, Wasapi, I guess is a way to pronounce it, um, you won't be able to hear uh, anything else but the plugin. So either use MME or direct sound. Um, if you are a more advanced audio um, producer, anything engineer, whatever, uh, you'll know how to use uh, ASIO and what you know Wasabi. But uh, for now, just have it on direct sound. Put the audio device to um, whatever uh, whatever speaker system you're using, headphones, uh, whatnot, and then just hit OK. Uh, and then. What we're going to do here is we're just going to test out the MDL sound. So uh, right here where it says instrument, it should say empty. Click that and then hit import. Uh, from here, you're going to want to navigate to wherever you saved your uh, SFZS folder. And then when you click that, uh, just open up any of the sounds. I'm going to click on the snare line sounds. Um, and then you can just uh, click the buttons on the piano and just make sure that it's working. Cool. So now that you have that, all you have to do is just close out of it. Uh, and then we're going to open MuseScore 4. Cool. Now that we got MuseScore 4 open, we're going to make a new score. And we're going to go to all instruments and select all of the marching band instruments or marching percussion instruments, I guess. Cool. Doesn't matter what the composer arranger, nothing like that. Um, so you'll get a score and whenever you start playing, you're going to hear the really bad um, basic muse score sounds in there. Uh, what you want to do is go to your mixer and then where it says sound, uh, click the little drop down. And then hopefully under your VST3 um, drop down, uh, MuseScore 4 will scan your computer to see if you have any plugins installed. Go down to your, uh, I have no idea how to say, is that Plow or Plog, whatever. Uh, Schwarzando will be under there. Uh, you probably won't have all the other plugins that I have. That might be the only folder that you have. Um, but yeah, that it hopefully I haven't found. Um, a way to change where MuseScore looks for plugins. So wherever you installed it on your hard drive should be wherever MuseScore looks. Like it should just scan your entire system for it. Um, if not, I'm not quite sure how to help with that. But if you leave a comment giving whatever your specific issue is, whatever you're stuck on, I'll be happy to help um, in any way I can and maybe even pass it to the MuseScore team. Um, However, I am under the impression that when uh, MuseScore 4 actually does come out, the MuseScore drumline sounds will be included, um, or at least there will be an update down the road that has um, a complete overhaul of the MuseScore drumline stuff. So now that we're here uh, in Schwarzando, we're going to do the same thing. So I clicked on the snare drum drop down. So we are going to change the instrument to import and MDL snare line. And you'll see the mixer should light up, uh, indicating that you're getting the sounds in MuseScore now. Cool. Uh, you can just uh, close out of that. Um, and now when we go to our note input, You'll see some of them don't have any sounds. Uh, a lot of them are the wrong sounds. So what we need to do is uh, remap the drum set that we have down here uh, to the one that uh, the MDL sounds in Schwarzando are looking for. So all you have to do now, um, I'm actually going to minimize MuseScore 4. Uh, we're going to go back to our MuseScore 4 uh folder in uh, my documents and we're going to go down to where it says styles 
So in here, you probably won't have anything. I just have a lot of sounds because I've been doing um, a ton of stuff with Virtual Drumline. Um, but I'll still go over the process. What you need to do is download the uh, download the DRM files from my pack, um, or you can just download the entire folder. So I'll let me do that now. So this might take a second, so I do apologize for that. So once we get that open, we can just go in here, extract all the files. And then we're just simply going to drag and drop them into our MuseScore 4 styles folder. So we have our DRM files and move to styles. Now you can close out of all this. And when we go back to our drum set, edit drum set, load, you'll see now uh, in the styles folder, you just have to select uh, whatever instrument uh, you want to use. So MDL snare line. Now we have all the right sounds um, loaded in. So you might have to go out of the note editor and then go back in to get it uh, to refresh. But now we have all of the right sounds. Uh, yeah, so that's for the snare drum. And you're just going to repeat the process for the rest of the instruments. So let me do that real quick. So again, we're going to go to VST3, Schwarzando. So this is for tenor drums. So we're going to import tenor line. Make sure that you're not doing tenors or show tenor line. You want tenor line. So once that gets loaded, a bunch of different sounds. Uh, we're going to go to the note input, edit drum set, load MDL tenor line. Hit OK. It didn't refresh right away. Close it, open it, and we're there. You'll also notice that uh, there's a lot of sounds um, that weren't in the original uh, MDL release. Uh, for instance, long buzzes, buzz rolls, uh, hits with brushes uh, and metal rods. Uh, there's even uh, skanks. Uh, the drum set's so long that you can't even see it, but they are there. That's a skank, and then that's a muted drum four hit. So uh, this actually opens up a lot using the Schwarzando player because you can now uh, s like select every single... Um, sample that is in the plugin which is really cool uh like in the past you're kind of just limited to whatever the developers wanted you to hear now you can actually get all the samples i'm most excited for the skanks and the uh hand mutes on the tenor drums uh and the bass drums there's a bunch of different stuff too so let me load that up so here we go schwarzando import and this one should just be baseline. There's no other thing. So one of the cool things about the bass drums, you got your regular hits, uh, but you also have hand mutes. Uh, so that opens up a ton of possibilities in your writing. Now there's MDL uh, baseline five, uh, which is pretty standard. And it also has the muted hits. Uh, and stuff, but there's also uh, baseline 10. And while I'm on baseline 10, let me just go over. Say you have, uh, mi say you're innovate indoor percussion, right? And you want to write for eight bass drums, and you don't need all 10 because this is this is just too many, right? One of the things that you can do to create your own custom uh, like palette, I guess, uh, is just go in here and say I don't need the bottom two bass drums. I just need it up to bass eight uh, from like one to eight. All you have to do is just go in here, delete the name. That's it. So I don't need bass nine, delete the name. Uh, and then, okay, so say, well, bass one's on like a ledger line. It's a little too high. Actually, that's the wrong ledger line. It should be there. Uh, it's just a little bit too cramped at the high end and I can use more space at the low end. 
All you have to do is where it says staff line, you can just move that up or down. Cool. And then you would just do that for whatever bass drums that you need. Uh, and then say I don't like the look of, um, let's say, the muted hits. Maybe I want it to be a different note head entirely. Uh, you just select your note head group, and maybe I want the muted hits to be a uh, circle with an X or something. Now, whenever you get out of here, uh, you can see the muted taps for that drum or a different note head. Cool. The last thing I want to talk about before I wrap the video up is now that you have everything uh, loaded up and into a file, just change the title to something like MDL template and just save as uh, whatever. Oh, I hate that. Anyways, uh, and then just save it as like MDL template or just template or something similar. Uh, that way, if you ever just want to like start writing a cadence, you can just come in, start putting notes in, uh, and then it's already set up, ready to go. You don't have to go through the steps of uh, setting up the plugin and everything. Um, so yeah, that'll pretty much do it for the video. Um, if you have any questions um, or something isn't working out, uh, just drop a comment. Uh, I'll typically reply within a day or two. So uh, yeah. Um, hopefully that helped. Peace.